sixth grade, module four, lesson 22, problem set. Number one, the checkerboard has 64 squares on it. So here they've given us an image of the checkerboard with 64 squares. A, if one grain of rice is put in the first square, so one grain of rice in the first square, two grains of rice on the second square, four grains of rice on the third square, eight grains of rice on the fourth square, so on and so forth, doubling each time. So every time it's doubled. Complete the table to show how many grains of rice are on each square. Write your answers in exponential form on the table below. So first, the first one is two to the zero power, right? Because two to the zero power is just one. So there's one in two to the zero power. In the second one, it would be 2 to the first power. 2 to the second power would be 4. 2 to the third power would be 8. And so we just keep increasing the exponent by 1 every single time. So it could take a bit to fill in this chart, but let's get started. So we have 2 to the first power, 2 to the second, third. And you're just going to keep going down the line. So I got my first column done, and it's 2 to the 0 power all the way through to 2 to the 15th. So let's start on the 17th square. It would be 2 to the 16th power. So we made it to 2 to the 31st power. And then the last column, we're going to start with 2 to the 48th power. Okay, so we went all the way down to 2 to the 63rd power. So that's how our chart should be filled in. B, how many grains of rice would be on the last square? So the last square here being the 64th square or 2 to the 63rd power. Represent your answer in exponential form and standard form. Use the table above to help solve the problem. So on the 64th square, that would be 2 to the 63rd power. If you do 2 to the 63rd power on your calculator, what you're going to get is something really, a really, really, really big number. So we get 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 472 trillion, 36 billion, 854,775,808. So if you put that in your calculator, that's what you would get. That is a massive number. And if you don't know how to say that number, that is okay. Would it have been easier to write your answer to part B in exponential form or standard form? So 
I mean, would you rather just write 2 to the 63rd power, or would you write it, rather write out this whole massive number? I mean, me, personally, I'd rather just write 2 to the 63rd power. So I would say uh, exponential form. Because you could say, because it's easier to write, it's more concise, it just kind of gets to the point. Easier to read and write. Number two, if an amount of money is invested at an annual interest rate of 6%, it doubles every two, 12 years. If Alejandra invests $500, how long will it take for her investment to reach 2000 assuming she does not contribute any additional funds? Okay, so it's saying that the interest rate is 6%, then it will double every 12 years. So meaning at zero years, she put in $500. So then it doubles every 12 years. So at 12 years, it would double to $1,000. We're trying to get to 2000. So then another 12 years would be 20, after 24 years, then it would double to $2,000. So there, we get the $2,000. So it would take 24 years to reach $2,000. Number three, the athletics director at Peter's school has created a phone tree that's used to notify team players in the event a game has to be canceled or rescheduled. The phone tree is initiated when the director calls two captains. During the second stage of the phone tree, the captain each calls two players. During the third stage of the phone tree, these players call each call two other players. The phone tree continues until all players have been notified. If there are 50 players on the teams, how many stages will it take to notify all the players? So this seems like kind of an ancient concept at this point. I remember when I was younger, we did have phone trees and we'd have to call people to let them know if something was rescheduled, but now the coach could just send out one text to everyone, so this problem's not really um, up to date, or we wouldn't have to, we don't really have to deal with this anymore, but we can still do the problem. So, it's saying that the coach calls one person, or the coach calls two people. So, stage one, the coach calls two people. So, then those two people call four people because they each call two so that would get us to four people then those four people call eight different people so now let's add up how many people have been called so far so that would be six people six plus eight so so far 14 people have been called remember we need to get to 50 people okay so after eight people then 16 more would be called. So plus 16 would get us 30. So now 30 people have been called. So then if those 16 people call 32 people, so it's going to double, then we would have so 30 plus 32, so that's equal to 62 people, which would have reached the 50-person team. So it took one, two, three, four, five stages of the phone tree to reach all the players.